Hey, welcome back again. This is part three of my long series on how to use somatic psych theory to deepen your connection with your body and or your intuition, starting with learning your own autonomic nervous system. Please check out parts one and two, otherwise this video is not gonna make as much sense. This is part of a larger and longer psychoeducation series focusing on how to use somatic psych theory and somatic exercises to intentionally build a deeper relationship with yourself, your nervous system, your body, and ultimately your community. So far, the first part covered the sympathetic nervous system's fight-flight response, and the second part covered the first pathway of the parasympathetic nervous system, the dorsal vagus's shutdown response. Now let's get to ventral vagal safety and connection. The ventral vagus is the youngest part of the autonomic nervous system and one of the two parasympathetic vagal pathways living on the other end of the vagus nerve. The ventral vagus responds to cues and signs of calmness, safety, and social connection. An activated ventral vagus could feel like feeling physically or emotionally warm and cozy, feeling excitement, engaged, joy, connected to yourself, feeling meditative, passionate, relaxed, and calm, feeling able to clearly see your options and make a decision on what the next move is. That communal on the same wavelength feeling that you get at concerts, sports events, church and spiritual services. So you might be wondering, why is it so important to learn about your own autonomic nervous system? And what exactly is the connection between learning your own autonomic nervous system and somatic psych theory and having a deeper connection with your body, being able to listen clearly to your intuition, healing trauma, building community, like what is the connection between these things? One, the deeper you get in understanding your nervous system, the more you realize that there's actually no separation between the mind and the body. Your mind and body are so connected, it's ridiculous like everything is connected and just like trauma can live in the body other psychological experiences and emotions can live in the body as well and even manifest themselves in a physical way connecting with your intuition healing trauma etc starts with learning yourself and healing the lines of communication between yourself and your body that we are all socialized to ignore and neglect and this includes learning how to be more aware of your nervous system and how your emotions physically manifest themselves in your body. And honestly, awareness is just the first step. Once you are aware, you can learn how to respond to your emotions and to your body in a way that pours into you. And this is in the face of a world that wants you to devalue yourself and ignore yourself. Learning how your own autonomic nervous system works specifically allows you to see that you don't have to be at war with your mind and your emotions. Because at the end of the day, your mind, your autonomic nervous system, your body is just trying to protect you from the dangers of the world. And learning how to be in conversation with it, with your nervous system, with yourself, will open up a whole other world for you. In the next video, I'm going to use Daniel Siegel's hand model of the brain as another way to overview how the autonomic nervous system works for all you visual learners out there.